Police in Hong Kong have arrested 53 pro-democracy activists. A government minister said they were detained for planning to, quote, paralyze and overthrow the city government. It is the Chinese territory's biggest crackdown yet on the opposition under a new security law imposed by Beijing. The dawn raids mark a sharp escalation of Hong Kong's crackdown on the opposition. Dozens of prominent pro-democracy campaigners were arrested at private homes, law firms and media outlets. Former lawmaker Lam Chuk Ting recorded the moment police arrived at his house. The arrests have left some residents stunned. So I think what I'm thinking right now, I'm just uh, leaving Hong Kong and move to the other country. I feel very unhappy and it seems that even during the pandemic, the government can still do so many things to terrorize people. But Beijing denied it was clamping down on dissidents. The normal rights and freedoms enjoyed by the Hong Kong people have not been affected. What may be affected is the freedom of some external forces and individuals to collude with each other to attempt to undermine China's stability and security. The detainees stand accused of trying to overthrow the government after they held unofficial primaries last July to field candidates ahead of elections to Hong Kong's Legislative Council. Under the one country, two systems policy, Hong Kong was given greater autonomy when it was handed back to China from Britain in 1997. The agreement expires in 2047. But one pro-democracy activist told DW that Beijing's security law has rendered that agreement meaningless. All the arrests and all the crackdowns following the implementation of the, of the law is actually a violation of the giant, uh, British, uh, Sino-British Joint Declaration and the Basic Law itself. So I'd say all the freedoms that are guaranteed under the Basic Law and under international treaties are gone. Activists are calling Wednesday's sweeping arrests an attempt to further weaken the opposition ahead of the legislative elections scheduled for September. For more on the story, we can speak now to Lee Chuk Yan, a Hong Kong politician and social activist. He's joining us from Hong Kong. Mr. Lee, uh, we've seen more than 50 arrests in one day. What impact does this have on uh, the territory's pro democracy movement? This again is the tactics of the Chinese government regime to rule by fear in Hong Kong. And it's so absurd. Imagine a uh, political party all over the world want to have a majority in the legislative council. And primary election is something very normal. So what they're charging these 53 activists, participation, uh, participant of the primary election, was that, you know, uh, we together, we try to have a primary election and the primary election is to get the majority and to getting the majority is undermining the government. So it's so absurd because all, all parties want to do that. And, and everything is allowed under the basic law and local mm. law. And 600,000 people have participated in the, as a voter turnout. So it's a widely supported uh, primary election exercise. And now the, uh, you call it, you know, uh, subversion. It, it is not really, uh, it's very clear that they, uh, they, they are trying to cast a very wide net of uh, arrest uh, so yeah. as to um, terrorize people and also to cleanse out the opposition. As they're casting a wide net, I should say, Mr. Lee, you yourself are a politician and an activist. You were arrested last year. Have you considered leaving Hong Kong? No, I will never leave Hong Kong because uh, we, we want to fight in Hong Kong for the right of people, uh, for democracy. And uh, we believe that uh, the people of Hong Kong will not be silenced by this, all these ridiculous acts of arrest, and we will continue to fight. And uh, what, what actually we are fighting for is uh, democracy and freedom. And, and, and this is actually good also for China. And why they are trying to suppress us? Uh, because they are the dictatorship regime. 
that would not would want everything under control would and would not allow uh, any uh, balance in power in any society. So is uh, they are now selling out the people of Hong Kong uh, when they, uh, of their promises of high autonomy, uh, the promises of one country two system, uh, the Sino-British Joint Declaration. All these are being betrayed. And what we want actually is stick to what was promised to us. Okay. You know, we spoke to an activist a little bit earlier, as you call China a, a dictatorship regime. This activist told us that there are essentially no freedoms left under the basic law in Hong Kong. Do you agree what is left of those freedoms? Actually, no one knows what it was left of the freedom because, uh, you know, uh, like teachers were trying to teach the students, they are disqualified as the teachers. Uh, when we go out to march for democracy and free, uh, freedom, uh, we are now uh, being arrested uh, for sub, uh, uh, inciting uh, illegal assembly. Uh, when uh, pe we, the, the pro-democracy camp, uh, you know, organized a primary election, they called it subversion. And when Jimmy Lai, the owner of Apple Daily, uh, you know, treats out uh, the, his comments on the Hong Kong situation, he was uh, charged with collusion with foreign power. So we, we actually do not know what is uh, left of our freedom. Mm -hmm. And because uh, all, uh, when we try to exercise them, you know, we have consequences. But right. no matter what, we will stay on. And no matter what, we will try to continue to exercise our freedom uh, promised under the basic law, even though there may be consequences. We will have to leave it there. Lee Chuk Yan, Hong Kong pro-democracy activist. Thank you very much for joining us on DW. Thank you for having me.